Okay, hello uh, to my ball game demonstration. In the next few minutes, I'll demonstrate how the game works, and after that, w I'll briefly describe the code that I worked about upon. So let's get the applet started. Right here is the applet screen. I'll just maximize it. Um, before we begin the applet, um, I'll just describe how on what I worked upon. Uh, I've used Java AWT, which stands for Java Abstract Window Toolkit. Um, it was originally a part of JFC or Java Foundation classes, um, and it provides a graphical user interface. Um, there are many more toolkits now, including Swing, which offers much more graphical capabilities. But um, we're still stuck with the traditional approach because um, it's relatively easier to code it. So let's begin the applet. Um, this area uh, will help you know which key I'm pressing, uh, and it's the status window. And I've designed such a way that whenever I press any of the direction keys, it shows up here. Um, the main object objective of the game is uh, to grab as many blue seeds as possible with our green ball. And with every seed we grab, the green ball grows bigger. So it's very similar to the snake game, um, except that um, it does not grow in length, it grows as a whole. So in snake, you, uh, you had the possibility of looping on yourself, but not so in my game. Um, so yeah, uh, and you have five lives and you only uh, you die if you hit the walls or if you grow too big for to fit in this wall and that i think is the end of this game so um let's begin we'll, we'll press f1 here we go our balls moving now um you probably wouldn't be seeing remaining lives at the bottom that's because the applet is flickering a lot the reason behind and um, and the frame rate of my video recorder is too less to actually show you the um, remaining lives. So the the reason um, for the flickering is something I'll describe when I talk about the code. Uh, you see the ball is really slow, so I'll press shift and that increases my speed and that makes it much more interesting and I've designed the score algorithm in such a way that the higher speed you're at the more score you get, the more points you s score and I, it's becoming difficult, I'll I'll take it to m higher 6, okay <laughs> that was too fast so um, that's our final score, 40,870 and that's a new high score because we haven't played any round before this so just to show how high score works, I'll play another round, and this time we'll try getting a lower score. <laughs> it's really difficult on 6x. I can't even grab a single... Okay, whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, damn. So uh, the final score is 11,220, which is considerably less than 40,000 before. So, um, so yeah, the high score, if you play more rounds, the high score will only change if you beat it. So that was my game and now let's talk about the code. This is the entire code that runs the applet and as mentioned earlier I've used java.awt and, and because I'll be randomizing the blue seed I've used the random utility library. Um, so these are the variables that I'll be that I'll be using amongst all functions, and that include the high score, the actual score, number of lives remaining, the coordinates, initial coordinates, and a a bunch of other variables. And U is for my speed setting, which I'll talk about in a moment. So um, this particular function key pressed describes it maps all my keys to their particular functions. So for example, you have F2, which was to restart the game, so that was that's here. Then you have up, down, left, right, which changes the variable that governs the direction of the ball, and it also displays the status. And, and then you have pressing F, um, pressing F1 will 
um, restart the game. Uh, F two just begun the game. F F one is used to restart the game. My bad. So um, so it resets your life and your score, and the initial coordinate. And um, the shift is for speed settings. And it decreases in, uh, the value of U. And if we go down, we'll see that U is the number of uh, number of microseconds that the thread sleeps. And um, so reducing the number of U will re uh, fasten the prog uh, fasten the wake up time. So that means a faster ball. And I've called the function repaint every time my ball moves or the user presses something. So that means the entire applet is redrawn using the paint function. And that is the reason behind the flickering because every time anything happens, the, every uh, every element of the applet, including the boundary lines, the, the strings, the speed setting, everything is uh, repainted. So uh, that has quite an overhead. And um, so yeah, this is the paint function. It shows the different lines I'm printing and also the balls. The green ball is the main ball, the blue ball is the seed, and it always has a random value. Um, yeah, that's all. And of course, um, you have the high score part of this is here. So that's all about my code. And hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you.